Hey, my name's Matthew. And my grandparents are my age. Things would have been quite different to me. Yeah, especially especially in this country. Whereas sort of nowadays, it, you, you tend to see a lot more of like a multicultural society. And I think it's important that we kind of celebrate that really. I do sometimes feel the pressure, but you know, you just kind of kind of live it out really. In some ways it's getting better, in some ways it's not. Maybe there's things we're doing, maybe now in today's world, that maybe kind of in the next, I don't know, maybe 100 years time, some of the look, people might look back and think, hey, well, that was wrong. But, but we're just living our lives today. We don't know any better, so. Maybe it was kind of the same back then, that people just lived what they lived. They didn't, maybe they didn't know it was racist or discrimination or whatever. Maybe they're just kind of doing what they, what they feel is right. The fact that someone's kind of, I suppose not as bold as brass in a sense, going to come out and say something. And, you know, it's like, I, th I, th I should feel that in some sense. We kind of need things like this Black History Month to kind of realise, you know, what is the right message that we've got to send out? Because it's not just about, it's not just about black history, is it? It's about, it's about all of us as a, as a, I say society, I don't know if that would be the right word, but it's about us all getting all, getting along, really. The idea is that we're going to eventually kind of keep passing the baton on until eventually we kind of reach some kind of a future. What that's going to be, I'm not too, I'm not too sure.